hello everyone welcome to this video so ChatGPT is a conversational generative ai and it is one of the most trending generative ai platforms out there when it was released it broke the record with over 1 million users sign up in just five days with ChatGPT, you don't mostly have to google for answers you can just ask ChatGPT your question and it will break it down for you with the specific solution you are looking for with explanations as well so you can ask ChatGPT any question you want, just anything. It could be about maths, it could be about birthday ideas, it could be about music, sport, education, just anything. So you can see ChatGPT as another form of Google search but very friendly and straight to the point. Now in this video, I want to show you my personal experience of how I use ChatGPT as a front-end developer. I have divided this topic into different sections. In this particular video, I just want to highlight some of the basic stuff that can be done with ChatGPT as a front-end developer. It is going to be very basic, but I plan to dive into more advanced concepts in future videos. So if you are interested in learning more about ChatGPT and how to use it as a front-end person, then subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you don't miss any video I post on this. So let's get started. So as a front-end person, I am always looking for new project ideas to build either for my portfolio, learn a particular concept, or maybe record a tutorial on it. And one of the things I can ask ChatGPT is for some front-end project ideas. So here, I ask ChatGPT for some advanced React projects ideas. And ChatGPT gave me a very good and interesting project ideas. So you could see here, it told me I can build like a real-time chat application using React and backend frameworks like Node.js or Firebase. I can create a custom video player using React and HTML5 video APIs. Or I can also build a multi-page application using React Router and Redux for state management. Progressive web applications, create a data visualization dashboard using React and libraries like D3.js. What ChatGPT does is that it will give you the idea and then it will also tell you the specific libraries you can use to do them which is very cool and if you continue on here it says i can create a content management system cms using react and headless cms like strapi content fold same pattern or i can also develop a web-based ide using react and code mirror for the code editor so it will give you the project idea and also give you the specific library or framework you can use to build the project so for example if you want to build a web-based IDE and you don't know which library you are going to use ChatGPT is saying you can use code mirror for it so I can go and search for code mirror documentation and then just use it or I can even go ahead and ask ChatGPT to send me the documentation for code mirror or any of the packages or libraries I want to use and it will just give that to me and I can just click on it and then use it so for example I can say where can I find the documentation for code mirror so this is what it says you can find the documentation for code mirror on the official website so give me the URL where I can find it, I can open it, and here it also gave me some useful resources available on the documentation to, to check out. So when I go to the documentation, it says I can check out the API reference or check out the configuration sections, key maps, modes. So it gives me like the, the most important aspects I need to be able to get started with Code Mirror. This is going to save you a lot of time than actually going to Google searching for code mirror documentation and then going through to just figure out where you need to go. So next on my e-commerce website, I wanted a function to calculate the total price for items in my cart. And I wrote this function for it. So I wanted to be sure if there is anything I could improve about this function. So I copied a function and pasted it here and asked ChatGPT to give me a feedback on this function that I wrote. And ChatGPT actually gave me a very useful feedback. So first of all, it started by explaining what the code does. So the code appears to be a function called calculate items total that takes an array of items as an argument and returns the total price of all the items. It uses map and then 
it returns it first of all returns an object that contains price and count so basically explaining what the function does the function i wrote chat gpt is actually explaining everything in a function and what it actually does right? and then after that this is where it made the suggestion so it said the code is well written and easy to understand one suggestion for improvement would be to add some error handling to handle cases where the items parameter is not an array or if the price or count properties are missing or not numeric overall the code is concise efficient and effective at achieving its intended purpose so chat gpt gave me a feedback about my function on how i can improve it because sometimes when you are when you are writing a function you might not remember all the edge cases about the function so asking chat gpt to give you a feedback on your function could be a really useful way to like get all your edge cases fixed just like it suggested here so next as a front-end developer you're always going to be looking for icons and illustrations and sometimes where to find good icons or free icons could be hard to find so here you can ask chat gpt where to generate or find free 3d icons and illustrations so i asked chat gpt where can i generate free 3d icons and illustrations and chat gpt gave me several websites to find free icons and illustrations so it says i can go to canva Canva is a popular graphic design platform that allows you to create custom designs including 3D icons and illustrations. They also have a large library of free icons and illustrations to choose from as well as paid options. I can head over to Canva and search for its 3D icons, the free ones, or I can also ask ChatGPT to send me the link to where I can find the Canva icons. So here you could see that there are a lot of 3D icons on Canva and I can browse through them and choose whichever one I want. All right, so this is very cool. So it's also mentioned some other platforms like Flat Icon. I know Flat Icons. I also know Icons 8, Vectizi. I know Free Pick. So yeah, these are really, really good websites to find free icons and illustrations to use for your project. So yeah, ChatGPT can help you locate some of these websites if you are not aware of them. So here, it was my first time of trying to create an application with Tailwind CSS and at that time I had not read the documentation yet. So I decided to I decided to use ChatGPT as my pair programmer. So whenever I want to do something in Tailwind CSS and I'm not aware, I'll just ask ChatGPT to tell me how to do it. Um, so I've used Bootstrap and I know how to use Bootstrap. I know like you just use the utility classes and then they'll give you like the styles you want. And I know Tailwind is something similar. So you can do something like MX1 and then it's going to give you the specified margin X for that particular element. So I knew how I knew how Tailwind works, but there were some things that I needed to like read the documentation and know how to do them. So things like how to use the calc function in Tailwind. So I asked ChatGPT, how do I write CSS calc function in Tailwind CSS? And there you go. So it showed me how I can write the calc, how I can write the calc function in Tailwind. And I just copied this and then added it. That is very cool. And here also, I wanted to create a slider with gradient background. So I asked ChatGPT to create a slider with gradient fill using Tailwind CSS styles. And it gave me the code. I copied and pasted, modified the colors to the colors I want. And I got this nice sliders styled in Tailwind CSS. So generally, ChatGPT can help you get started learning a new UI framework which is which is very cool i needed to create a responsive three column grid layout with tailwind css and i didn't want to go through like the documentation to like look at how to do all the parts so i just asked chat gpt to create a three column responsive grid layout with tailwind css and it gave me so from there i analyzed the code and i saw how to like how to create like grid layouts in tailwind css 
So yeah, it's a good way to get started learning a new UI library or framework. Obviously, you might want to check out the documentation as well for a much, a much deeper understanding. But yeah, I mean, it's a good way to get started. Also, sometimes you want to reinvent the wheel a little bit. So you might want to create something like RGB to hex function. So it takes an RGB color and then it's going to convert it to a hexadecimal color code. So here I asked ChatGPT to give me a function that can convert RGB color to hexadecimal color code. And yeah, this function could have taken me like uh, maybe an hour or 30 minutes to just write and make sure like I get all the parts correct. But ChatGPT can get it done for me in just two seconds. So that I tested this function and everything was working very, very well. So this is one of the ways ChatGPT can help you like increase your productivity time. Some of these things make sense to ask ChatGPT to create it for you. All right, so finally, in one of my small projects, I needed an accordion component and I didn't want to install a full UI library like Material UI or Bootstrap. I just wanted a very simple standalone accordion component to use that was because the project was very small so so using using a ui using a full ui library like material ui or anti design is going to be an overkill and yeah i wanted some options so i asked chat tpt where can i find the best react accordion component and it gave me several options it's even a link you can just click on this it's going to open it and then you can you can try and check this out so yeah, it, it will give you some some options and then you can try and choose whichever one you think is uh, is good for your project. Yeah, so you can use ChatGPT to di do different things about how to work as a front-end developer. It, it has the ability to write HTML and CSS code as well. So you can even ask ChatGPT to create like a full blogging screen for you. It might not be perfect you might have to refine it later but yeah it will still do a decent job for you so yeah these are some of the basic stuff i would mention in this video but yeah ChatGPT is actually good it is nice uh it can help improve your developer time it will help you do some stuff faster i mean if you wanted some ideas on how to use ChatGPT as a front-end developer these are some basic ideas so uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about ChatGPT and how you use it as a front-end developer. You can put your comment in the comment section. Uh, I'll be interested to know how you use ChatGPT as a front-end developer as well. So, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or share the video. And I will see you in the next video.